Even if a company has the best group of frontline employees in the entire industry, its team's talents could go to waste without proper and consistent feedback. So why do organizations struggle with coaching managers to deliver that feedback? A few different questions offer insight into this struggle. How does the organization determine what makes a manager an effective coach? You should determine your scorecard for a good manager. Do good managers give effective feedback, fill open positions quickly and effectively? What about turnover and team growth? And how does the organization know whether a given manager is an effective coach? If you've defined what makes a manager an effective coach at your organization, are you measuring it? How does HR make time to help managers? HR professionals should assist in coaching these managers by implementing one-on-one -on -one meetings. These ongoing check-ins ensure managers are doing their best to bring out the best in their employees by giving constructive and regular feedback. One-on-one -on -one meetings put coaching at the forefront of the relationship between employees and managers. It becomes foundational. HR is well positioned to oversee the entire process of one-on-one -on -one meetings across the whole team. While managers coach their employees, we help coach the managers. Our HRIS is incredibly important to Bernie Portal's success with managers coaching. HR typically manages a company's HRIS and its performance management system. This is where Bernie Portal managers and employees record agendas and summaries from their one-on-one -on -one meetings. It's essential for organizational accountability. A key benefit to this approach is that each meeting is documented with detailed feedback between an employee and their manager. HRIS platforms can help HR coach managers in other ways too. Bernie Portal uses our applicant tracking software to look at applicant response times, position open times, unread applications, and more. Reviewing this data ensures that hiring managers are consistently giving open positions the consistent attention necessary. They need to be responding to applicants, and this gives us insight into whether they are. Helping to coach your managers starts with having regular check-ins with each manager of your organization. Schedule and plan regular manager check-ins. In my initial communication, I first remind managers why we do them. Second, I explain what managers should expect from the meeting, and then other agenda items that might be applicable during that time of year. Ideally, manager check-ins should be rolled out as soon as you begin conducting one-on-ones as an organization. These check-ins help managers buy into the process. You can even use these check-ins to role-play certain scenarios with your managers. Confirm each manager is having one-on-ones. Bernie Portal's weekly one-on-ones are documented using performance management features in our HRIS. This platform allows employees, managers, and their managers to review past conversations and track an employee's progress from one week to the next. But what happens if you find out a manager isn't conducting one-on-ones? Well, follow up. Remind them they need to be doing this. You should also alert that manager's manager to the problem. Determine if manager's feedback in their one-on-ones is as strong and specific as it should be. Giving feedback is the building block of being an effective manager. For example, imagine an employee is struggling to meet their sales goals but you review the one-on-one -on -one documentation and find that manager hasn't provided any suggestions to help that employee improve. On the other hand, let's say you review the one-on-one -on -one documentation and discover that each week the manager has provided countless ideas to help their employee improve. This is an indication of more effective coaching. By following these steps, you truly can be part of helping the managers in their organization be better coaches.